Here are three identical circles, and their radii are all equal to 5. These three intersections are the three centers of these three circles. Now, we have to solve for the shaded area. How large is it? You can easily find out that the shaded area contains three identical parts. This one, this one, and this one. So maybe you're going to say, if we can solve for the area of one part, then multiply it by three, we get the total shaded area. However, this method proves very difficult. The main idea is actually cutting and pasting. How? Now, attention please. These two intersections are the two centers of these two circles. Now, connect them. Now, how long does this green line segment measure? 5. Why? Because this point is the center, and this point is on the circle. So it is actually a radius, and a radius measures 5. And this one is an arc, and it is 60 degrees. Why? If we connect this point to this point, this point to this point, then now we can conclude that these three arcs have the same degree. And the areas of these three arches are equal. Since these three figures, these three shapes, are identical and symmetric. So we can do the same thing on the other side. So we connect these two points to this center. So these five arches have the same area. One, two, three, four, five. The problem is, how shall I deal with this part? The only idea is, we can regard this radius as a symmetry axis, and we can reflect this shape along this axis to here. So it'll be like this. And I'm gonna say, this arch has also the same area as the others. If I label this area as number one, then this shape is also number one, has the same area as number one. If this one, this arch, is number 2, then this arch over here has also the same area as number 2. If this arch is number 3, then because these 6 arches have all the same area, here, number 3. So we cut this area and paste it to here. We cut this area and paste it to here. We cut this area and paste it to here. So now, these three parts don't exist anymore. So now, we only have a very single shape. And it has the same area as our original shaded area. This shape is a semicircle. Wow, what a surprise. Maybe you're going to ask, why is this one a semicircle? You see, because of the symmetry, these two points are the two opposite points of a diameter. And this one is the center of this circle. So the shaded area is just an area of a semicircle. 
and the area of a semicircle is a half times r squared, then times pi. We know that r is now 5, so r squared is 25. 25 over 2 is 12.5. So the answer is very easy. It's 25 over 2, then times pi, or you just write 12.5 pi. Do you get it? Do you get the method? Cutting and pasting. Subscribe to me for more wonderful questions, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.